Hi friends, attacks on AI ML models can happen throughout the model life cycle. These attacks are broadly categorized into four, poisoning, evasion, inference and extraction. Poisoning means the attacker poisoning the training data, either the input features or the label or the target variable uh, so that the ML model learn wrong representations of the data. And then evasion means at the time of inference, the attacker try to trick the ML model into making wrong predictions by slightly and subtly changing the input data. Okay. And then the inference and extraction, these also happen at the time of inference. Attacker make many calls with different combinations of input to the model so that they can figure out what could have been the training data, the distribution of the training data and in the extraction attack, they figure out the model or at least try to mimic the model by making too many calls and analyzing the output. Okay. All right. So this tool called adversarial robustness toolbox or art in short it provide both red team and blue team tools to figure out the attacks as well as the defense mechanism today we are going to see an example of evasion attack and how do we defend it okay All right, uh, so just install this library, uh, Adversarial uh, Robustness Toolbox. Uh, we are going to tra train a very simple uh, classification model on the famous MNIST handwritten digits uh, data set. Okay, so here a bunch of Keras TensorFlow and NumPy libraries. And then from the art, uh, the main modules are the fast gradient method uh, this is the one uh, we are going to use to create the evasion attack and the second one is this tensorflow classifier which simply wrap our the classifier we train uh, into this art classifier all right so we load the data uh, it's this uh, mnist data it's this uh, 28 by 28 uh, pixels handwritten digits uh, all right. So we define a model, a very simple sequential model uh, using Keras and then set some, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, set some uh, configuration parameters like the optimizer loss, uh, the accuracy metric, etc. So this function, it simply return a model definition. Okay. So we create the model and then we train the model for 10 epochs. Okay. All right. So by the end of it, uh, our accuracy on the training data 0 0.99. Okay, so we have an ML model. Let's say we put the model into production. Now let's see what the attacker might try to do. Okay, all right. So here uh, we wrap the model we train into this TensorFlow classifier, uh, which is from this art library. Okay, and then this fast gradient method it's one of the evasion attacks method what it does is it with as simple changes to the input data it tries to produce as much change as possible in the output okay so basically we are going to perturb our input images very small to trick the ML model to make big changes in its predictions. Okay. Now the attack strength uh, is defined by this parameter epsilon. This is one of the, uh, this is the most important parameter. So it goes from zero to one, uh, the higher the value, the stronger the attack. Okay. All right. So using this attack function, what we do is here, we are providing our test images to produce 
these new images which are prone to these adversarial attacks okay so let's call these images uh, adversarial images all right so this is how they look like this is our original image and this is the image the attacker has created now when we look at these two images it becomes very clear that this image is very different right we can see lots of changes but these mnist images are so simple we are able to see such differences but when we have real world images with at high resolution uh, with multiple colors etc these small changes we wouldn't even be able to notice okay so the changes can be so small but they still has significant effect on the output okay all right so we created we just looked at one image but we transformed all our test images into these adversarial images okay now let's evaluate the model on the original test images here we have the test label now the test label still the same but we have a new set of images which are prone to these adversarial attacks okay so on our test images we have the last 0.03 and accuracy 0.986 okay close to 0.99 which is the training okay so the model is doing extremely well on the testing data but when we test the model on these adversarial images as you can see the loss is quite high and the accuracy is almost zero okay so the model is not able to do its job when the attacker send some adversarial images okay now let's see how this strength plays so the epsilon value so here we are changing uh, between 0.01 to 0.25 okay the example we saw that's i think 0 0.3 okay all right so what we are doing is for every epsilon value we are creating these adversarial images and then evaluating the model okay and we are also showing an example image all right so this is how it looks like this is our original image the model has predicted it as 7 which is correct and we have uh, the accuracy 98 sorry this is already attacked image but the attack strength is so small 0 0.01 now as the attack strength increased from this 0 0.01 to 0 0.25 you will see how the images has been changed as i mentioned these images are so small that we are able to see the changes in these uh, images but in a real world images we wouldn't be able to see uh, the changes in the image even with epsilon strength 0 0.25 okay so as the strength increased our predictions for example here it is predicted as 3 it is predicted as 3 but that's just one example if you look at the overall accuracy it went down from 98.62 all the way up to just 8 percent okay so the model has the performance has almost become uh, zero as the strength increased from 0 0.01 to 0 0.25 all right so we know our model is not robust uh, it is not able to handle these evasion attacks now what can we do let's see that so we are going to train a robust classifier which defend these attacks up to a strength all right so what what are we doing here is so the same model so here we have the model and then we wrap this into the art library classifier and then before training the model we define what sort of attacks we are expecting okay so here we set the epsilon strength to 0 0.3 and then here we have defined the trainer with our actual classifier or the neural net definition and then also providing the attacks okay 
and then we are training the model okay so what we are basically what we are essentially doing is before training the model we define what sort of attacks we are expecting <coughs> we are including those attacks in the model definition to train these adversarial model which is robust to these types of attacks okay now when we train uh, this model for 10 epochs uh, it hardly took couple of minutes but with this adversarial mechanism in place uh, it took me more than 70 minutes on m1 uh, 16 gig ram okay <coughs> so there is a price to it uh, all right so let's evaluate uh, the model so remember we strained it for strength epsilon 0 0.3 all right so on our test data this is how the model is performing which is good now let's generate these adversarial images with very strong strength 0 0.5 that's very high okay all right and then the model performance it is still bad but it is not as bad as it was before right earlier even for attack 0 0.3 our model performance is uh, almost zero okay we weren't able to classify uh, not many as correct but here even with attack strength 0 0.5 uh, we have classified 1300 images correctly all right now let's do the same experiment as before so here we are varying the strength from 0 0.01 all the way up to 0 0.6 and what we are doing here is this is our original model okay uh, trained just using the tensorflow library as we can see the strength epsilon increasing the model performance has significantly dropped even in the low range of epsilon and by the time the strength increased to 0 0.2 the original model performance become almost zero whereas this is the robust classifier which we train including what the attacking mechanism in its right up to strength 0 0.3 so that's why here you see even though the attack strength is increasing the model is still able to maintain its performance of course not as much as its original performance which is 0 0.9899 but even at attack strength 0 0.3 the performance is close to 0 0.85 ish okay and then uh, the performance dropped uh, very uh, steeply okay so as i mentioned uh, there is a price to pay it uh, when we are training the model for these adversarial uh, attacks uh, the training time has increased by let's say roughly 3 to 70 minutes 3.5 to 70 minutes that's 20 times okay but this is just one of the attacks uh, which can happen so if we want to defend our model against uh, all the remaining three types of attacks we discussed uh, the training time uh, increases uh, exponentially okay so today we discussed evasion uh, i probably won't make videos on the other three attacks uh, but the github repo has a number of examples a dozens of examples uh, please do check out and if anything is not clear if uh, if you don't understand the code also do let me know in the comments uh, i'll explain the code to you that's all for this video. Thank you very much.